Fuck! Post production Blake here. I hate my life. No lie. I've been spending three hours trying to do this. Because on another YouTuber's live stream, I found out something about the Victory Heat Rally Sage demo. Three, two, one. There's an extra course. In order to get that extra course, you need to beat the Staff Ghost. And the in the demo that I was playing for Sage, I wasn't playing the proper Sage demo, so I didn't know Staff Ghost Three, existed. Two, life is pain. That's all I have to say at this point. Just life is pain and a whole lot of button pressing. Three, two, one, at this point, I'm just fueled by tamarind candy and the will to see the second map. Buy at your local Vietnamese store. No, seriously, tamarind candy is really tasty. Consistently, I've been running into three different issues with this. The first issue is muscle memory. There are certain turns that you're supposed to be drifting on, there are certain turns you're not supposed to be drifting on. And doing the opposite absolutely wrecks your time. Second, bumping into walls. I have done so many drifts too early and just bumped into the walls, absolutely shattering my time. Three. You pretty much need to find the quickest route on this track. Yeah, I'm not recovering this. Fucking... Three, two, just... One, you bump into a wall once, you can maybe, maybe salvage it. You bump into a wall twice, oh, there's no way in hell. Three, you don't get an early start, there's no way in hell. Life is pain. First turn, drift. Second turn, double drift. Third turn, drift. Fourth turn doesn't need a drift. Fifth turn does. That's the pattern. Problem is, actually executing that pattern, not just once, but five times in a row. You pretty much need the perfect run. Like, the time to beat for the Staff Ghost is 1 minute and 18, I believe. Crap. Double crap. And that's an impossible task. Holy crap. Three, three, Normally, for one. something with uh, some skill required, I do silent takes. A whole mess of silent takes. But I wanted a blind reaction to the uh, little surprise at the end of this, which I do know about because, again, I watched a... Uh, couple streamers and yet showing it off live during Sage Week, and I wanted to try and do the same thing. Only thing is, I didn't exactly watch their footage. I was listening to it while editing videos and whatnot, and I never got the chance to actually see their winning run. So I'm completely blind as to what's going to happen when I get to it. That was absolute. Why do I keep doing this? This is what I mean by muscle memory is absolutely shattering me. Because I keep wanting to drift there, but as you drift, you slow down. So it's not ideal to drift all the time. Hell, I don't even think a double drift and that particular last turn is a good idea. Just take a few breaths. You're fueled by 
fuck. You're fueled by tamarind candy. Sure, sure game, that's how that works. You just ram the wall and suddenly your controller stops inputting because you hit the touchpad. Great. <laughs> I need the quick start. Give me the quick start. Muscle memory jams me again. Maybe it's because I don't have too much experience with racing games, so I'm struggling with this. Because, like, racing games aren't exactly my genre. Strategy games? Yeah, I'm pretty- I'm decent at them. RPGs? Oh, hell yeah, give me some RPGs. Give me a platformer? It's a bit of a struggle sometimes, but I can make it work. I can make it work. A rhythm game? Oh hell yeah, I can kill that in the iota. A racing game? Uh, what? Suddenly everything I know is wrong. That was a little close. I almost feel my bumper scraping against the sides. What's also not helping is I get moments when I get confident in game, and when I do get confident, my uh, performance falters. Case in point. Oh my! I almost had it. Of course, of course. The moment I actually have a decent run, I end up choking because I get confident. That's just standard with me. Anytime I ever get confident in a game, it just goes sour. I anticipate it to happen with Star Force 3 when I get around to that. So of course it would happen with this game too. I mean really now, games can sense your games can sense your fear. Games can sense your confidence. What are you talking about? The moment you the moment you start to show fear, the moment you start to show confidence, the game wants to put you in your place. I thought I could salvage that, and I immediately fumbled the buttons. <laughs> One, two, two and a half, I guess. Two and three quarters. Four. Uh, it didn't look like I hit since I hit anything there, but okay, game, I'll trust you on that one. I'll curse at you all the while, but I'll trust you on it. Damn, it's been months since I had ten and eight. So good. <sighs> that turn. I swear, I go blind at that turn. It's like a crapshoot every single time. Just something about how the turn curves just gets my eyes all twisty. Trust the turns, me. Don't trust this one because every time you end up tilting your head and you just go all right and it goes all things through -y. Get back here, ghost. Don't make me install a poltergeist onto this godforsaken vehicle. Because at this point, all I'm doing is sucking! Like, seriously, I might as well just take lessons from Luigi at that rate. I mean, he's got three games worth of sucking going for him. He does have a. <laughs> I shouldn't say that! <laughs> <laughs> He's got three games going for him, and I was about to say, he knows how to suck more than a dice in factory. <laughs> three, two, one, go! 
only I wasn't gonna say dice. <laughs> Fuck! Everyone has a drip button. It came with your fucking morning star. I don't have a drip button, you monster. Another issue I keep having, like consistently, no matter which demo it is, sometimes I swear I'm letting go of the drip button, and I don't stop drifting. Don't stop. You're drifting. Hold on to this feeling. Street lights, palm trees. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Drift. Triple dip. Is it triple drift? I got cocky. You never triple dip. I don't. <laughs> you never triple dip the chip. You triple drift the chip. You don't need break button, what do you need a break button for? Break button to for okay, maybe this one. Maybe this for turn? Yeah, not catching up. That was looking that was looking good for a comeback story, and then uh main character tripped off you too many rocks. Keep doing this drift dance. Thinking it's gonna help. It's not gonna help. It's just gonna make things work. Or worse. Like, you're supposed to go to the inside as much as possible. I understand racing theory in that respect, but. Sometimes. Sometimes, staying on the inside curve for far too long causes you to ruin everything you know and love. It's like Netflix taking your favorite anime and making an adaptation of it that just completely doesn't follow with the original. I like watching anything voiced by Monica Rial. Yeah, that's going to be the outtakes. Two. Three. Oh boy. This. Damn it. I can maybe salvage this. Maybe salvage it. Whoop. Okay. It's getting a little too bare bones for my liking. Choked it at the end. Three, Again. Two, one, go. Yeah, minute eighteen and some change. Oh, case in point, I totally hit let go of the drift button and then pushed it and then somehow Three, two, there was enough of a not frame gap that it just treated it like I was continually holding the button. Okay, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I always want to drift. Everything is drifting. Everything is sliding at the top speed of what? I want to give this ghost a name. I want to give it a name so I could forever immortalize my pain and suffering that I've had to subject myself to for the past two and a half hours. Something snappy and easily rememberable. Rememberable? Memorable. So I could forever immortalize the fucking. There are many like it, but I named this ghost Vera. Now let's hope I can actually beat Vera in a race. Because holy crap, Vera knows how to drift. Vera's done nothing but play Mario Kart 8 for a living. Is this where- is this the point where I say I've never played, uh, more recent Mario Kart games? Mostly because I don't own the systems for it? No. Yeah, I deserve that crash for that.
Like, I understand part of the issue I'm having right now is I need to keep calm. Because when I'm calm, I'm doing decent. Problem is, these butterflies in my stomach that occur every time I make a successful drift. They give me that micro boost of confidence that make me think, yeah, I could totally do this. I could totally do this. What are you talking about, me? I'm not failing at all. I know exactly what I'm doing, and I can pass Vera right now. Watch. And then, when it builds up to be enough, I get that critical miss, and everything is pain. In fact, I get multiple critical misses of rapid fire. It's like a machine gun of critical miss. It's the Fallout targeting system all over again. Case in point! Again! It happened again! I hold down the drift button, let go, and hey, you didn't let go for long enough, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna pretend that you never let go of the drift button at all! That's perfectly fine! I mean, the, the age of the PS5 isn't even here yet, and here this game has pressure-sensitive fucking triggers. This is what happens when I decide, hey, you know what would know be cool? Let's do Sage After. And of course, the first game I fucking pick is Victory Heat Rally! Like, holy crap! Why did I pick this game first? What a way to start Sage After! What a way to start Sage After of 2020! With the biggest fucking dick of the lot of them! Good? I gotta stop listening to muscle memory on that first turn. Like, really now. I shouldn't be drifting there. I can drift here. Uh... I shouldn't be drifting there. Holy crap. Ah. Uh, okay, now it's a fight. A losing battle. It's a losing battle. It's a losing battle. It's a retiree thinking that he could be a mall cop, then realizing that his arthritis is just enough they can't run. You win today, 16-year-old, thinking he can shoplift. I'll get you next time. I'll get you next time, Vera! Next time! Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine, I can recover this. This is still recoverable, in some semblance of the word. This is not recoverable anymore. Three, Three bumps and that's it. One. There's no way I can sell it. You need the perfect run. If you don't get the perfect run, then you might as well just sell the game to eShop. eShop. At this point, I'm just talking to talk. Racing games are like cooking. You gotta do it in steps. You gotta make sure you have the right seasonings for each and every turn of the dice. If you don't follow the directions, you end up with a burnt dish. You end up rain sage. And trust me, you don't want to smell what rain sage is cooking. Ed? Thanks? The ice cream won't kill me. The Oreos will. And the lack of a place to put this, too. Because, like... I feel like I shouldn't put it on a lemon. Because I happen to be a very clumsy person, and... <laughs> it would just be my luck if Alembic got a little ice cream on it, you know?
drift. Three drift. Powered by ice cream and tamarind candy. I ran out of mint. Look! Good. Take this turn. I keep doing a lot of swerving. I think that's harming my time. But at this point, it's kind of just a reflex thing that I end up doing all that swerving in the first place. Because I got some very twitchy reflexes. Like, very... No! No! No way! Did I just barely lose that? Three, two, Son of a forking... I must be dreaming that. I must be dreaming that. I totally had that car on the ropes. What the hell? Vera, get your blue basic bitch ass back here. I am so mad. I am so mad. I don't get pissed at games often. Like, I really don't. I laugh at myself, sure. I drone, I get tired. I never actually get ripping mad. So far, this is being an exception. A fucking racing game. Like, are you kidding me? Like, failing 30 times in a row in dead cells didn't piss me off. Trauma centers, is a trauma center first. The first Trauma Center game's surgery with aneurysms didn't piss me off. SOR4's perfect stage achievement didn't piss me off. But this game somehow knows how to push my buttons. It somehow knows. Because at this point, it's not the car that's running hot, it's my blood pressure. <laughs> Like, I need to strap myself to a fucking Three, ice block two, right now. One, go. Giant me sized ice block. Just strap myself in. Because that's how hot this game is making me run. Crestoria Gotcha hasn't screwed me this hard. And that's saying something. Because my last gotcha poll was nothing but a single gold unit. Like, seriously, Vera, you are starting to piss me off. Mmm. Too tight. Can we. not isolate that clip? No. Like, full blunt now? I feel like, uh. I feel the same way as Rune right now when she was trying to get the, uh, the biking achievement for FF7R. Like, holy crap. That degree of aggravation and frustration. And I guarantee that when I ask, that if I ask her to try this, like, next week or some odd, when she's available, She's going to be like, it's not that hard, man, and then completely trounce it in, like, five attempts. Guaranteed, for your money back. Because unlike me, she's actually decent at racing games. One, yet. God damn it. Three, 
good. Chance. It all depends on these final few turns. Did I do it? I beat the staff time! <laughs> My grandma can drive faster than that! If you really think you can beat me, then how about we settle this? On my turf. What? Three, two, one! Uh... What? That is one hyper tree. Can you even beat that? Oh my god. What in the hell am I looking at? Can you even beat this tree? Like, I'm genuinely curious if you could beat this. I at least want to have a race where I don't crash once. Right. Left. Right. Right. I don't think you can catch up to that tree. Like, this is actually hitting obscene territories now. Holy crap. Yeah, I'll take losing. Because that's obscene. 55 seconds by the look of it? Do I at least unlock that track to play, or...? I don't. What the hell? That's actually kind of dumb. Oh. Like, I wonder if someone's even beaten it at one point. I gotta look that up. <sighs> Welcome to Victory Heat Rally. Fuck you. Like, really. Excellent demo. But fuck you. I'm retiring to my void. Said it again. Delegate, man. <laughs> 